In about three weeks, it'll be four years uh, to the day that I, that I survived one of the most important things in my entire life. About four years ago, I suffered an ascending aortic aneurysm. I didn't realize how big I was at the time. It took three paramedics, two police officers, and a Philadelphia Eagle to load me in the back of that ambulance. <laughs> Doctor comes in, tells me I have to have emergency six hour surgery, and I got about a 20 to 25% chance to live. Uh, I don't want to spoil the rest of this story, uh, but I lived. Uh, <laughs> right? Thank you. Thank you. It's crazy, man. It's the craziest day of my life. And then for six months, I was 150% forbidden to have any kind of sexual activity whatsoever. More importantly, if I attempted masturbation in my first month of recovery, there would have been 85% chance that my aneurysm would have reopened and I would have bled out within a few minutes. Right? That's exactly my reaction, too. When my, guy, when my doctor told me that, I was like, oh, wow. When I told my guy friends, this is what I got. Psh, I'd sneak one in. <laughs> For the first 90 days, I was, I was losing weight. I was eating healthy. My heart was getting stronger. So when I went to my doctor visit, uh, I asked him, I was like, can I start having sex again? He goes, yeah. He goes, but there are now rules attached to when you have sex now. He goes, when you're with your girl, she needs to be paying attention to any sign that this could be happening again. He goes, if you're by yourself, you need to make sure someone else, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Are you saying I need a spotter? <laughs> Cause friendships are tough enough. <laughs> Without having to look at your best friend and go, hey man, can I ask you a favor? <laughs> you mind hanging by my door and if after a few minutes you don't hear anything or you hear a thud, uh, please pull my pants up before calling my mom. <laughs> I don't want her finding me like that.